Hey everyone, hopefully you're having a good day. Uh, my name's Andy, my channel's Finding Value, and I'm going to look at some ETFs on a big picture view uh, and, and a medium term view to see what's going on. It looks like a lot of the commodities are pulling back. Looking at the ETFs can give us a big picture view uh, of all these different sectors to see what they're doing. I'm going to look at energy, uranium, natural gas, oil. Uh, I'm going to look at some a lot of the metals, copper, rare earth metals, stuff like that. So let's jump in and take a look to see what the heck's going on here. So I call this ETF. It's technical analysis. Uh, I'm going to start with the 10-year. The 10-year did pull back. Uh, people are buying bonds. Uh, maybe there's something they're scared of out there. That's usually what happens. Uh, if someone is scared, they, they run to bonds. And then yields go down. Copper. Bearish engulfing here. Uh, we could head lower. We've got a nice little pullback here. We broke the uptrend line, and we're continuing to pull back uh, more. Uh, actually, the trend line actually comes down here. I've got it in the next one. There it is. We're almost breaking the trend line. We're coming up to support line right here. We'll see if it breaks or if it holds. If it breaks down, we may just head lower. Uh, the big trend line is broken uh, for all the way back uh, from 2008 to 2020, 2021. Uh, so we pulled on up, we broke through it, and then we're seeing if this line holds. <clears throat> Here's URNM. Looking at it, this isn't really a big trend line here. It's only two contact points. It's not really even a trend. Uh, but we're coming down, and I think this will be the first line of support. But it is in pullback mode. Uh, Vanek Oil Services. Here's our trend line. And it looks like we broke to the downside just recently. So this is pulling back just like all the other commodities. Uh, here's XLE, another energy uh, fund. Three contact points, and I we could pull back a little bit here and maybe come back to the trend line. Uh, XAU, this is gold and silver index. We have lots of selling pressure, big bearish engulfing. I think this is going to head lower in the short term. Maybe we could come back to you know 135, 132.50, maybe even 130 uh, down here. That's what it's looking like it wants to do with a shoulder, head, shoulder, possibly. Here's Rio Tinto. It did break its trend line to the downside, uh, and we're heading lower. This is a diversified mining company on the short term. So I think it's going to head lower. Uh, BHP, I think it's going to head lower as well. We broke to the downside, back tested, and now we're heading, I think, lower. We're having a pullback. Uh, Nova Royalty, I've got this here. We're pulling back just like it would copper's pulling back. So uh, I do like Nova quite a bit. There is not a whole bunch of resistance through here. Uh, so it very well could come back. Substantially, and I, I I cost average in a couple of these days too. Uh, I've been cost averaging in. I cost average at like three dollars. Um, I cost average in down here, and we'll see if it holds. But if it pulls back more, I'm going to continue to cost average in uh, wherever I can. South thirty two uh, broke its its uptrend, broke to the downside, back tested, and potentially could head lower. Volley is in this consolidation area. Is it going to break to the upside or is it going to break down like all the other companies that we're seeing? We'll find out. Uh, here's Anglo-American Platinum on the short term. We've got this nice little <clears throat> pattern developing. We'll see if it breaks to the upside here. But my guess is it's probably going to stay in this pattern. And then we got Glencore, which is a large copper company. It's putting in a bearish engulfing. I, I would be watching for a break of this trend line to the downside since the majority of these companies are breaking to the downside. Uh, I would I would think that Glencore is going to come under pressure and potentially break to the downside here. So overall, uh, short term wise, ETFs are all signaling downside pressure. We've got money flowing into uh, bonds confirming that this is going to be under pressure. Dollar is increasing, which is going to put more pressure on these as well. Uh, we're just seeing a, a pullback here. So we're going to see a, a pullback potentially over however many weeks or months. Uh, and it's going to be some relaxing time. 
some cost averaging time whenever these things bottom and turn to go back up. Uh, but I still see pressure to the downside in all of the commodities that we're following. If you guys like this content, give me a thumbs up. Thanks for listening. This is Finding Value.